Ryan Lewis in front of Foster and going to be six out. Maybe Zucker. Sid Boyd down low. Cross the top of the round. Bobo Lennon. Forward beating and banging here in the Sportsman class. Still banging as we head down. Rempel going to work there. Oh, five wide for a moment through one and two. Back down to four and three wide. Up and two. What a showing. That's Zach Olivier. Inside of row number four. In the 1M, that is Eric Mosier. Outside of Eric. From Madison, South Dakota in the 23, that's Michaela Volts. Inside of row number five. From Kirk, South Dakota, 83X, Briley Goff. Outside of him. From Hartford, South Dakota, the 40 of Tim Dan. Mike Cheney in the Z25. Outside of him, the, the number one of Travis Shores. Inside of the next row, the 12 of Travis Shores. Outside of him, 14, Marty Grilly. And all alone on the final row, the 29Z, JJ Isabel. 15 cars ready to go 23 laps around the Park Jefferson Speedway here for the 2019 edition of the Mark Lloyd Memorial Race. $1,000 to the winner, $200 to start tonight's main event. Head flag man Nate Peterson waits to give him the sign out of turn number four. Green flags out, we're underway. 2018 champion Dave Cook takes the early race lead of Green Jefferson. 27 the Holy Brothers are side by side for a second in turns one and two. Here goes Brian Owing to the outside, John Owing to the outside, excuse me, and look at Zach Olivier in car number 71 behind them into the three spot. All three drivers in the top three are on the outside of the speedway. Brian Owing to the inside in car 13, Corey Eyes there as well, but Dave Kutka leads lap number one. Here comes Brian Hoy to the inside. Ron Howe and Corey Hyde. Corey Hyde battle it out for fifth. The 27 of Kupta continues the lead as the battle rages on for second. Battle for second, third, and fourth off the turn number four. Brian Hoy now stays on Corey Hyde. He's trying to make the inside of the racetrack work. Keep it out. Corner number 13. He's humping the hub down on the bottom side of the speedway. Now a little out of shape. That allows the top four to pull away. And first green stock for number 23, Michaela Volts. He rounds out your top five now two-car pass. Zach Olivier steps out of line the bottom side of the speedway, side by side for second. Second will continue to go to John Hoy in the 55, but don't sleep on the 64, Corey Eye on the bottom side. Olivier gets a good run through the center of turn one and two. They'll pull even once again for the second spot as the 27 of Dave Cookto leads. Olivier once again on the bottom, but Hoing holds on to second. Zach Olivier trying to make the bottom side work. He currently sits in third. Now he's back up to the cushion on the outside of the speedway, up around the rim. Tries to point the nose to the inside of turn number two. Nothing doing downstairs. Eric Mosier steps out of line. We got a three-car battle deep in the field. Looks like that's for six. Cars every which way. Still good two wide battling, nearly three wide battling in some spots. Corey Iron on the outside of Zach Olivier from third. Continuing a lot of battle in the field. The 13 of John Hoying gets out of shape. Oh, Brian Hoying gets out of shape. The one car of Travis Shores is starting to make the charge forward as we've got a battle for the third spot between Olivier in the 71, Corey I in the 64 as Dave Kupta continues to lead. Kupta continues to lead again. He's the defending champion of this event. Last year was held on the Nobles County Speedway. Excited to be back to Park Jefferson. We got one around of three and four. It's Brian Owing in car 13. That should bring out a caution flag. Caution flag out in turns three and four for Brian Owing in car 13. Six laps are completed here in this one. First caution flag out over the speedway. Dave Kutka continues to lead. He is the 2018 champion of this event. Last season it rained out here at Park Jefferson. Dave Kukta brings us back as Nate Peterson waves the green flag as we're back underway. Side by side for second. Here comes Travis Shores on the top side of the raceway. Shores will take over the fifth spot. Michaela Volts will run into third. Shores looks now to the inside for the fourth spot from Olivier as Dave Cook to lead. Shores into the fourth spot now. He's starting deep in the field. He's up into fourth. He's the 2017 champion of this event. The last time he was held at the Park Jefferson Speedway. Smoke coming out of the back of the 71 car. Zach Olivier was running third much of this one. Tough break for Olivier, and that should bring it up to bring out a caution flag. Caution flag.
So we've got Marty Grilly around in turn number two in car 14, and we've got Zach Olivier in car 71 around as well. Tough break for Olivier, was running in the top three much of this event. And now it looks like mechanical failures are going to retire car 71, Zach Olivier. So this time out of four, we'll be back to green flag racing. Dave Kutka's gonna set the pace. Michaela Volts and John Hoeing behind him. Those are your top three out of four. Back to green flag racing with seven laps complete. Kutka, the, uh, great restart once again. Hoeing to the outside of the speedway. Car 55 is gonna get run on the outside of the speedway. We might be side by side for the race lead. Side by side for two out of the top spot. Kutka puts a nose in front. Now on the back straightaway, Corey I now up into third in car 64. Hoeing still on the outside, still side by side for the race lead. Out of turn number four with eight laps complete. You have a new leader up the line. It's John Hoeing. Quick to still on the bottom side of the speedway. Brian Hoeing on the, or John Hoeing on the top side will now claim the lead as here comes Corey I following him. Trouble for the 64, Corey I. He'll slow on the outside of the speedway as Hoeing will continue to lead with Cooker running second. Corey I slowing the outside of turns three and four, and it looks like that will do it for the 64 machine. We may have to bring out a caution flag. And we got Troy Schurz around in turns one and two as well in the 12 car. He'll keep the candles lit, but caution flag out for the 64, Corey I. Before the caution flag came out, New leader on lap number seven, the 55 of John Hoeing, now in the catbird seat for the $1,000 check in his pocket. Looks like it might be Michaela Bolts who sits in third. He's in car 23. Nine laps down out of turn number four. John Hoeing now sets the pace. Greens out, we're underway. Good start from Michaela Bolts in car 23. He'll move into the two spot right off the jump. He's going to try to follow John Hoeing through turns one and two. Dave Kutka downstairs, trying to make it run for the two spot. Can't make it happen this time. Side by side, wheel to wheel, door to door, down the back, straight away. Michaela Bolts to the outside. Dave Kutka to the inside. Briley Goff there as well. John Hoeing continues to lead off of four. John Hoeing continues to send the pace with the battles on for second between the 23 with Caleb Bolts and the 27 of Dave Kutka. Bolts to the outside of Kukta. He will clear him out of turn at number two, but here comes Briley Goff now to the outside. Contact between Kukta and Goff. Everybody was able to keep it straight and will stay clean and green as the 23 of Bolts reeling in the 55 of home. 23, Michaela Bolts has got a line out. And he's going to try to reel in the 55 of John Owen. You point the noise to the inside of the speedway. Have a turn number two, about a car length. Separate the top two. Meanwhile, Briley Goff is around Kukta as well. He's into the three spot. Kukta back to fourth. Tim Dan now rounds out the top five. Go 55 of Hoeing all the way upstairs. Michaela Bolts through the middle. Continuing to knock on the door is the 23 of Michaela Bolts. Hoeing continues to show the way as Michaela Bolts runs second. Hoeing stretching it out down the back straightaway through turn number three and four. Bolts will look to the inside. Not enough once again, but Briley Goth continues to run third. Dave Cook to fourth, Tim Dan fifth. Michaela Bolts is making up ground in turns three and four by entering just in the middle of the speedway while the 55 of Hoeing is all the way upstairs. About two car lengths separate the two now. Both enter on the top side of the speedway. This time they'll run the cushion all the way around. Briley Goff tries the inside to try to reel in the top two. Can't make it happen that time. Troy Shores off of the top of turn number three and four. He's able to keep it straight and will stay clean and green as the battle is on for the fifth spot momentarily, but Dave Kukta runs away from Tim Dan as John Hoeing continues to lead. Top five now in fence post formation around the facility. Oh, well, we got water pouring out of the 23 car. Looks like we lost the radiator, maybe lost the engine. Not lost the engine, but definitely lost something underneath the hood of the 23 machine. He's got water, you can see it in turn number one. Water all over the racetrack. Couple of cars hit it going off the top. He's still got power under the 23, but we'll see if he is pulling that car off in the pits. Dave cooked a slow into turn number three. That might bring out another yellow flag, and it will. Yellow, yellow, yellow for the close call for John Hoeing almost coming together with Dave Kukta, but he's able to corral it up. A lot of smoke out of the 23 machine. As we've also got one spun around in turn one and two. That looks to be the 25Z, normally driven by Tyler Zabel, Mike Cheney behind the wheel. 
Flag in hand for seven more circuits around for the 55 of John Hoeing as we're back to green. Hoeing gets a good start. The Caleb Holtz does not. The second spot will go to the 83X. But Caleb Holtz gets a corral back as he'll battle for third with Tim, Van Tim Dan. Here comes Troy Shores on the top side knocking on the door for fifth. Troy Shores wants to put his name in the ring for the third spot as we've got a battle for the lead. Riley Golf is the inside of turn four to reel in. John Owing, we're side by side in a one and two battle for the race lead. John Owing at the moment on the top side of the turn number two to lay claim to the top spot. There's moisture coming up on the inside of turn number four. Riley Golf used it that time. He'll point the nose downstairs off of turn number four, side by side for the race lead. Down the front straight away the line. Give it to Riley Golf for race lead change. Riley Golf is your new leader, but John says not so fast as Hoeing is on the outside, Goff on the inside. John Hoeing will regain the lead as the battle is for the top spot. Michaela Volts has problems. The line once again for Riley Goff on the bottom, but John Hoeing leads. Inside in turns three and four might be closing in on the place to be for these guys. Hoeing slips up on the cushion. Riley Goff tries to run through the middle and loses ground down the back straight away. There's moisture down there, but as Goff drips a right rear off the top of the racetrack, there goes the engine. We saw the water, there goes the engine for car 23, Michaela Volts. We'll see if he can pull that car down in the infield and keep from throwing a caution flag as John Hoeing continues to lead over Briley, Goff, Tim Dan, and Ron Howe, and Troy Schurz. And we're going to have a yellow, 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 yellow off turn number, uh, turn number three for the 23, Michaela Volts. A couple of laps ago during the green flag run, we saw all the water go out of the radiator in turn number one. Just a matter of time before there was too much heat in that engine for it to be able to take it anymore. You can see the steam rolling out of the top of the hood. That will end Michaela Volts' first night in late model street stock. Impressive run before mechanical failure takes him out. Ah, to turn number four. Green's out, we're back underway. There's the moisture on the inside. Hoeing finds it that time. Great race there from Tim Dan at car number 40. Again, he's passed seven cars here so far. If he can get around golf, that'll be plus eight. Troy Scherz in car number 12. There's another one of the drivers in contention for the hard charger here this evening. Golf's off the outside. Look at Troy Scherz through the middle into third. Troy Scherz in car number 12 and two for one down the back straight away. Two laps remain. Three cars getting together in turn number four. Big contact between Rob Cheney and the 83X of Briley Goff as we got sideways, and the yellow flag will fly. This time around, John Hoeing will show him the way back to the green flag as we are underway, green, white, checkered. Ron Howe and Tim Dan go into turn number one. As Tim Dan looks down to the inside, but Hoeing gets a good run off. John Hoeing stretches out the lead as he will come through turn number three and four to see the white flag. White flag out of the speedway, one lap to go for John Hoeing. He'll take the 55 car on the outside of turns one and two for the final time. Tim Dan to the inside, nothing doing downstairs, able to pull the corner panel, but not any closer. John Hoeing down the back straightaway. Car number 55, driver out of Hartford, South Dakota, picks up the 2019 edition of the Mark Lloyd Memorial Race, 1,000. Oh, Tim Dan off of turn number four. Tim Dan out of nowhere off of turn number four, picks up the feature win. Oh, my goodness. Tim Dan out of nowhere found the moisture on the inside of turn number four, and car number 40 is your hard charger and feature winner tonight out of Hartford, South Dakota.